A part of England where passion for football is always red hot. We're in Newcastle upon Tyne at St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United up against Southampton. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything pointing to a really lively match of this is. Fingers crossed, eh? Good luck. Good game out there. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. So they starting 11 for Newcastle United. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. Ryan Bertrand starts with Kyle Walker-Peters in the fullback positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And so the battle commences. Kieran Clark. Clark. Hayden. Here's Almiron. Joel Linton. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Oriol Romeu. And now Ryan Bertrand. Che Adams. Stuart Armstrong. Adams. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Stuart Armstrong. Che Adams. Well, Prowse. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Ward Prowse, Romeu, Vestergaard. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, the attack looks promising. Well, taken away, he won the ball. Getting in there to intercept. Stuart Armstrong. Oriol Romeu. An attack full of promise. That's a go! Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Longstaff. Joel Linton. Might be able to produce from this position. Wilson. Callum Wilson. Longstaff. Surely. And it goes. The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic.
Well, here it is. A striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The opening goal of the game then. Bednarek. Well, Southampton certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Joel Linton. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Hayden. Now getting the ball forward. Ritchie. It looks promising. It's with Isaac Hayden. Wilson. Will it be? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. And here it is again. It's a great team passing move to set up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, I think it's fair to say that he's had happier days in front of goalie. Well, if they are going to get back into this game, he needs to up his work rate, his endeavour, his creativity, his shots at goal, the full works. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Not a good pass. Promising sequence. Now far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Romeo. Bertrand Oriol Romeu Vestergaard Ings Walcott Moving the ball effectively Rob them Callum Wilson Long staff. And a creative look about this. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Callum Wilson. Wonderfully weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. And space to cross it. Yedlin. 
It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Bednarek. Walker Peters. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Vestergaard. Walker Peters. Oriol Romeu. Ward Prowse. Romeu. And he takes it away. Vestergaard. And now Ryan Bertrand. Now can they create something? And he's in. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It can be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. John Joe Read it magnificently and intercepted. Hayden. Wilson. Into the advanced position. Excellent challenge. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Couldn't keep it. Lewis. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Chances on. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room. If it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. And there goes the final whistle and the final outcome, a victory for the Magpies. Lee, what did you make of it? Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun and have a lovely attacking style about them. Clinical finishing today as well. And I think